Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Tetris Fail Reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the scalding hot Darjeeling? Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're all doing wonderful and having a wonderful start to your week. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going back into the world of terrible ink. Oh my god. So the last couple of weeks have been a bit insane. I know my videos have been a bit sort of on and off with the days I'm uploading. Um, with the, the queen like passing away and stuff, like the whole, uh, everything's kind of like shifted. Days have been like shut down and like we haven't been able to do a lot of stuff. And it's just been a bit of a much, like a bit of a mess. So like our schedules and things have been sort of a bit messed up. So I'm sorry that my videos have been a little bit irregular. But we're back today for some fun. A quick uh, a quick reminder just before we do start though, make sure you do check out um, the newest episode of the podcast, Gag of the Millennial me and Luxaria talked about our favorite 90s and noughties TV shows we watched growing up as a kid, which things we were obsessed with. It was so much fun. If you're a millennial or a Gen Z, I'd love to hear your opinions of things that we talk about. So after this video, make sure you go check out the podcast. There's a link in the description. Gag them and your favorite 90s and noughties TV shows. It was a lot of fun. But hit the like button, subscribe, and let's not beat around the bush, eh? And get on with these tattoo fails. <laughs> Oh my, oh, this, oh, Ki, Ki, Kiana, Kian, is that meant to be Kianta, Ki, Ki, Kia, is that an R, C, Ki, whatever, the, the, the poor name of this baby, what is this shading, oh my god, like severely like burnt and like dirty, what's, oh no, like again, again, it's one of these things like, Surely you know why when you go to a, like go to a like a like a tattoo it's like they can't do what you want them to do. This is so like the shading. Oh no! Like this part here looks like there's a huge like cave on this baby's forehead, and this part of the forehead's getting like ripped up. Like oh no! Absolutely not. Poor thing. Poor baby. Oh, wow! It's disgusting. That's what it is. So it's someone's like backside, and on their hips it has two awfully shaded hand they look terrifying they look like like skeletal hands with beats it up in the middle as if like it's someone holding on someone's ass and like you know oh, i can't say the words because i'll get the man it says this is uh, oh i am sure that jesus christ would love this tattoo he'd come back resurrected after seven days and go do you know what I love it. You really captured my gout. <laughs> oh, what? Ha no, I mean, uh, I would not want to be resurrected if this is what I come back to. Again, I don't, I, I find it so weird that people can get so obsessed and like full on with their religion that they're going to tattoo religious figures on them, but then end up with that. Like, surely that is so offensive to your religion. <laughs> Hypothetically, someone got a tattoo of me and they decided to go to some awful person and they came with me and it was something like this where like I looked like I died eight years ago. My face was rotten and everything. I'd be like, I'm actually a bit offended that you would want to do that. <laughs> like, I just, I, I just find it weird. I just find it so strange that people think that like that's like your religion would love that. Like, I just don't get it. Weird. Ashley. Uh your pardon i beg your pardon what what is happening why is there this like skeletal dog with a human face uh, what? <laughs> what what's happening why are they giving this dog like a human-esque style face with like human -y eyes but then with a snout but then with like lips like a human Ew! Oh, I don't like it. It's really creepy. Oh, this is giving me the creeps. This is like Uncanny Valley Valley stuff. Oh, I hate it. One of the comments here sums up perfectly. I'm not drunk enough for this. A f***ing men. This actually is creeping me out a bit. Like, what's happening? Oh! Woof, woof, girls. I'm a dog man. Okay, so what, wait, what, what am I? Oh, it's a horse. Oh, dear. No, no. What, so is, what, is, is the horse got like some kind of monkey pox? Like, what, what, what? What's happening? Look at this poor tail. This tail looks a bit like a ghost. The wailing woman of the horse's ass. No, what's happening? What? Oh, what's what? Like, what's this meant to be part of it here? Like, what's this? 
What part of the horse is that? Why has it got weird pattern? This looks like a handprint. Smack the pony? No, girl. That was a TV show that's over. Oh, the horse looks very upset. I mean, I'd be upset too if this is what I had. But like, oh, poor little horsey. Nay, bitch. Uh, trot along, bitch. Uh. Ugh, what is... Th is that meant to be a starfish? <laughs> is that a starfish? Oh, no. We... No. What? Girl, that's a booty hole. No, what's with the sphincter? Like, what? Like this? What? One of the comments on this says, starfish or afterbirth? <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Why? If you're going to get a starfish, why have you kind of got it like, it's like slopped over, like rotting with his like a huge sphincter out? Like, hello? Do you want to look at my gaping orifice? Disgusting. No, no. Patrick is quaking. <gasps> oh no. Oh, they've tattooed like freckles all over. Oh no, don't do this. Like this, like that's all. Oh, that's, uh, there are many other ways that you can achieve like a, like a, ta like a, like a freckle look. Like tattooing them on you is a lot. And I would n n like, mm. No, no, it ain't it, sis. Doesn't that just kind of look like they've got blackheads like all over their face? You like want to pop them all? Like it's not. That's not. Mm, that's not a good idea. Like just, just there's there's other ways that you can get this effect without having to tattoo it on you. The, again, this just looks like monkeypox. <laughs> oh dear! Whoa! Look at your hat. This, this again. This looks like some sort of like skin, skin disorder or skin. Di like there is something in. Like what? I just want love her all over my hands, and it looks like now I've got frostbite and I'm rotting away. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I bet this girl is that. Oh, my God, it's gorgeous. It's definitely what I wanted. The best thing in the world. It's amazing. I think it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Even having my my children, Lily and Luca, <laughs> I think this tops that. It looks like there's like a K here as well. It looks like a K. And this is obviously, there's like a letter here as well. But like, like, what's this? I don't get Because like these ones, you, they've obviously tried to shade. And then the bottom black and going up to pink. But this one, they just gave up. And they're like, do you know what? No, this whole one's rotten. Oh, wow. I mean, Ariel has definitely um gone a different way. <laughs> I actually kind of love this. There's something fun. Of, she's got like these huge, like plumped up, like juvederm filled lips. She's a bit more of like, she's got a bit more of like a curvy shape than this like tiny rake thin mermaid than normal tattoos. Do you know what? I actually like this one. I, I, I actually think this one's cool. <laughs> I love that she's even got like flounder like tattooed into her like fin. Now, do you know what? I'm, I'm all for this one. I like this bum. Ariel has took a different path and we love it. Wait, what is that? Is that. Is that a, a, a hawk? It kind of looks like one of the. I don't know what a dinosaur is called. The one with the, one with the really long necks. The ones that are the, the huge ones with the huge necks. It kind of looks like that, but it's like up on all fours a little bit, but it's also missing a limb. Like one of his arms has gone, but it's got like almost a human looking legs and like a weird human face. Like what is this meant to be? Oh, this is this is disturbing. Oh no. What is that meant to be? I need, I have, again, many questions, no answers. What is this meant to be? Something's man is not meant to do. Oh, a, a naked woman hugging a cheetah? But like, why is the cheetah's head so big? And why does the cheetah's arm start directly from the neck? <laughs> it's just like a head with an arm. Like, the, the <laughs> oh wow. Like, look, if you just literally look, the arm goes up to the, like, it doesn't like go on like a shoulder joint and then go across to the neck. It, the arm just like starts at the, like the ear. So it like starts like <laughs> What's happening? But like, also, why is the ch why is the the cheetah? I can call it a tiger then. Why is the leopard cheetah thing? Why is it scratching the woman's back? Oh, 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 poor Genga. No, Haunter and Mimikyu. And I think there's both Bulbasaur above it. I'm not sure what this is next to Bulbasaur. What the hell that's meant to be? There's the ghost wood. I'm, I, I can't remember what, that, what Pokemon underneath it's called. But Mimikyu and then Haunter above it. This looks like a child's drawing, like children's drawings. And they've gone, do you know what, sir? I want some myself, sir. You heard me. And then this has happened. And now like, but like the thing is, it's not only does it, are they awfully drawn. Like, look at the coloring on this. It's so like 
patchy and like, oh no. I can't, the thing is, with stuff like this, I don't know if maybe this was just done poorly or this was their attempt at shadowing. <laughs> Like, what? No, girls. Oh, no. Poor Mimikyu and Haunter and Bulbasaur and whoever. The, I don't know who this is. What is this? Wait, what is that? Like a car, like castles? Oh, it's a plague doc. It's a plague doctor over a town. Is this going to be like a thing about the Black Death is taking over everywhere? Like, oh my God, the plague is back, girls. Run for your lives. You, can I say what's funny? You know if like the Black Death thing ever happened, ever happens now, like the way that it did back in like, what, the 1300s whenever it happened. You know full well the anti-maskers and all these like, anti-like vaccine people be like, oh no, it's a lie. When it's just like there's dead bodies all over in the city and they're like, no, it's a lie. I kind of like the concept because I quite like dark things. So like, I quite like the idea of like, like a plague doctor kind of like over a town and stuff like if you want to get that done fine i, I kind of like the, the I, look quite, I quite like sort of like spooky dark imagery but like it, it's just done really poorly like what like what is this meant to be like stones or something like what is this meant to be beside it frog spawn like what like I don't know, and it, yeah, the coloring and stuff isn't very good, and it just looks, it just, it's just bad. Like, I want to know, like, I, I would love to know the original image that this was taken from, or like, what the original image was. And they've gone, yes, I want to do it, and then this is the outcome? No, ma'am. Oh my... <laughs> Is that it's Wonder Woman, is it? Well, have a Wonder Woman's face. She looks a bit like the Ariel with the big Juvederm lips. What's ha- No. 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 What? I love that there's like a random plane in the side. But what's a plane got to do with Wonder Woman? <sighs> like... <laughs> I don't know what it is about like the like tattoo trends come and go all the time. You know there were the tribal tattoos back in the early 2000s. There were the tramp stamps in the lower back. You know there were the while in the 90s everyone was getting kind of barbed wire around their arms. And that you know in the 2010s there was a lot of people getting like the black work here that went into trees. Like these are very common like trends that go around. But one of the more recent trends, of course, is like stopwatches and like compasses. I don't know why, but like. If you're gonna get one of them, they definitely have a stigma to them. If you wanna get it, you know what? You live your laugh, girl. But get it done well. It's just bad. Like, it's just bad. The line work is so inconsistent. Like, the thickness of this is, like, th really thin here and thick here. Like, the bo is this butterfly? Like, what? why does this butterfly have, like, double wings here but just one wing here? Uh, it's just, I mean, I, the, look at the lot. It's just bad. I wouldn't like, wh why, why compass in, compasses and stopwatches? Like, where did, like, why that now? I never understand where these, like, trends and stuff come from. I get from celebrities, maybe, and they influence people and stuff. But I just find it, like, where does, where does, like, why has a, a clock and compasses become, like, the thing now that people keep getting? And it's artistic. Artistic. Good, aren't <laughs> Oh, the green m and has transitioned. <laughs> oh, I'm now transspatial. I'm a cat girl. Oh my gosh. Isn't the green one like actually meant to be trans? Or like a lesbian? Wasn't it made like a lesbian? Was, was the green one the lesbian? Do you know, okay, do you know what? With the Ariel one, she was a bit different. She had the tattoos, she had alternative. She took a different path than what her father wanted. This is the same thing, but this one's actually not done good. So this is Belle getting tattooed by the beast, but it's just done poorly. Like, it's just not... The first one was kind of iconic, but this one just looks a bit shit. But even look, this even looks like a clock. A clock! The tattoos are now having tattooed tattoos. The tattoo trends are going on the ta tattoos. Ta oh, tattooception goes. <gasps> this is the reference. See, this looks good. This looks really good. Like this, this drawing is gorgeous. I cannot believe they literally they put a clock on Bell and a clock a, a, a clock on the Beast. Like this is obviously many beauty the Beast and stuff. Wow. Like this. Th this photo, this drawing is actually really good. I'm so glad that someone had posted this. Like, that looks really good. But the fact that this is what they got. Oh, no. I'm suing. What is that? Is that meant to be like feathers? Like, what? What? I, I need, someone needs to, someone needs to explain this to me. What is that? What is that meant to be? Like, what, but what is, what is this? What, it looks like some skin disease or something. What's that meant to be? I'm so confused. What is that? 
Oh, no. That looks horrible. It looks like you've got like a really bad rash all over your chest. Oh, no. You've got Costco. You've got, you've got the logo of Costco. Why? I don't really understand why people do things like this. Because I've seen people get like the Nike logo or like Adidas logo like tattooed in them and stuff. I'm like, why? Like, why would you want a brand? Like a like a, a, a million dollar brand. Like a multi-million dollar brand like tattooed in you like this. Like it just feels like, oh uh, gosh. Like these, like these kind of tattoos, I will just never understand. Like even if you love Costco, to think what I do, the idea that you would tattoo like Costco and like essentially do like free advertising for the, like I just, I do, I remember there was a big thing in the back. I want to say I want to say this was in the 2000s as well, where like people would get their cars and they would give them over to companies to basically paint the entire car with their branding and their logos for advertisements, and they would pay you like a small amount of money to basically use this as your car because you're basically driving around as an advertisement for them. And that was like a big thing that people were doing. Smart cars were a big thing, like the little tiny cars. That was a thing that people were doing as well, just covering their car with like branding. So I've, I kind of feel like this is like the same thing. Like are you being paid to have this on you? Like are you being like, if I have this Costco logo, I'm getting paid by them or I get free stuff by them or something? Because I just can't imagine anyone doing this because they want like, because they're like, I just love Costco. Strange. Oh God, love my new tattoo. If you have amazing tattoo, you want to show off and then it's some group and it's, Please, people, just, like, raise your standards. How can you love that? Oh! Like, I get that taste is subjective. And what, you know, this these videos aren't made as, like, a you're right, you're wrong so much. Like, people want, people, people want this kind of stuff is absolutely fine. Like, if that's what, if, like, if this brings you joy, good for you. But, like, how? I just don't. <laughs> oh, Mary Magdalene. No. Oh, what? It, oh, poor Haunter. Give Haunter a break, girl. God. What is that? Like, what? Oh, no. On someone's knuckle as well. Like, what, like it just... Wow. Look at the color. Like, there's no color here. All the color here is like come out and gone. There's like color missing here. Like, again, I, a lot of this, like, I don't know if it's just because this person didn't heal it very well, didn't look after it. I mean, it's on their fist. I mean, obviously, this is done badly as well, but like... Some of it could have just come out because the person didn't look after it as well, but I can't imagine this probably looks good to begin with. Poor Haunter. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is... Why is the tail of the shark inside its hole? Like on the tail of the animals, on their, their tails are like at the top. It's also got like... Pig's hoof feet. Like, this looks like hoofs rather than like... Uh, this is... I mean, do you know what? A staff creativity. <sighs> this is hideous. Oh! <laughs> a British bulldog wearing a British over, like, waistcoat. On top of a British flag. That's, like, ripping out of the person's skin? But it just looks like it's rotten. Like this shadowing just looks like the skin is like rotting away. Like it doesn't look like, do you know sometimes you can get really cool tattoos that look like it's kind of like in the skin and like, they put like a nice shadow and it, like it's a bit strange, but like it doesn't look gross. It just looks kind of like, oh, that's interesting. But this, why would you want it so your skin just looks like it's rotting? Like it's, it's rotting. This feels very Brexit. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually don't hate this. Yeah, like, it may not be the best tattoo, but, like, sometimes you can get tattoos that are kind of, like, bad enough that they're almost cute, and this little sort of, like, cute... It almost looks like ghost face, but as, like, a baby. Like, there's, like, a baby... Do you know like a baby gets wrapped up in, like, blankets? To me, this looks like a ghost face that's been, like, wrapped up in blankets. I actually kind of love this. There's a part of this that I kind of love. Do you know what? I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Again, more clocks. Like, so I guess, so there's Mia, Sky, and Xavier. I'm assuming that's, like, the time of their birth, maybe? Um, but, like, look, it's, what is the shadow? Like, what is the shading? It's, the light, and it's, oh. 
Again, get it done well. I mean, again, you get what you pay for with most of the things. Like, if, if a tattoo, like, if a tattoo shop says cheap tattoos or cheap piercings or cheap, like, the word cheap and body modification is something that should never be in the same sentence. And you definitely get what you pay for when it comes to tattoo work. Again, though, it's like clocks. Like, people get, it's, it's very generic. It's funny because the tattoo artists who drew, like, my tattoos and things at the moment, they always tell me that they would never do this. Like, if someone says they want a clock to, on their, like, an hourglass, like, they'd be like, no, we're not doing that. Um, because it's very generic. I just find it strange that so many people want it. I'm not saying I'm 100% unique. I'm not the first person to get gamers, like, a ga like game characters put on me. But, like, this is so generic. I just find it strange that so many people want this. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo-choo! Speeding down the road, we're about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Babish! And I made back and I'm full... I messed up my outro. Well, guys, I'm willing to aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, spins on the way. I'm about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bobby. And I'm back and I made a full recovery. Because I'm Jesus Christ. Get me tattooed on your face. Um, hello. Thank you for watching today. This has been a lot. I love making these videos though. Like, tattoo fails. Like, there, was a, there is an, a plethora, a gold mine of just absolutely endless endless supply of tattoo fails so i'm glad that you guys have been enjoying watching these videos because i'm going to keep them doing them um, especially now that i'm getting more and more tattooed like it'd be nice to kind of put more tattoo stuff onto my channel um but oh my gosh this has just been so much and again an extra reminder to go check out the most recent podcast episode i'm going to say it in the next couple videos there's a link down below as well as always please 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 Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so miss any videos that are coming up. Come and follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, all those places. Come follow me on Instagram. There is links down below. Come follow me. Come join the conversation. Come have some fun. Make sure you leave me some comments down below. Oh, wow. Jesus. Wow. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side here. Thank you for being a Patreon. You guys are wonderful. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons, Ali Cooper. Benjamin Baker, Bethard, Kaz.Thom, Shell Herman, Christina Cull, Corin Pemberton, Heather McFarland, I at, Jenna Beth Herman, Joanna Krause, Caitlin Wright, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Lisa Pennington, Luke Peterson, Petra Selenis, Rachel DC Biscuit, Robin Scott, and Steph Utech. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are delicious. But anyway, guys, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch that tell you that you can't be wise up because you are flawless.